In this screencast I'll show you how to calculate binary VLE data using the Van Law activity model. So to start with if we just review the theory from the Margules activity model we had two equations one to calculate the activity of the first component and the other to calculate the activity of the second component and we were using this in combination with the extended version of Routes law. So we can apply Margules to this example which is ethanol for component 1, water for component 2. We have the Antoine constants for, for this and we have some data for the azeotrope and we can use these data points to work out the activity uh, activity coefficient for each component at this particular pressure and temperature and then we can use this information to calculate A12 and A21 for the Margules model. We can then implement this as shown previously in a previous video and calculate everything and we can work out the VLE data. For the Van Laar activity model it's a very similar sort of idea, it's an unsymmetrical activity model where again we have two parameters A12, A21 and they are used to calculate the activity coefficients. The alternative form of, of these equations are shown here and this form is very useful if you want to calculate A12 and A21 from a data point, for example an azeotrope data point. So the implementation of this again we've got uh, an azeotrope here as, as shown before and this time the A12 and the A21 have been calculated using the Van Laar activity model. Gamma 1, Gamma 2 calculated using the uh, activity model as, as described and we need for, for that x1, x2 and then these two parameters for the model, the A12 and the A21. The pressures are then calculated using the Antoine equation times by the value for gamma 1 and times by the value for x1 that's for the partial pressure of component 1. Component 2 very similar again we've got gamma 2 times x2 and then the Antoine equation for component 2. And let me just look for a moment. So this example we want everything at 760 and so we'll go over to the macro and run the goal seek macro and everything's been updated now so that we've got 760 millimeters of mercury as the total pressure so all these temperatures have been varied. If we look at the Margules one that also needs to be run so that we get uh, a decent comparison here. So if we go to the macros we can run that on this spreadsheet as well. All those temperatures have been updated. So now if we go across to the XY plot we can see that the Margules is a reasonable fit but actually the Van Laar in this case is a better fit and that's generally the advice in terms of picking between Margules and Van Laar is to try both and see which one gives a better fit. The experimental data points from the literature are given here with the reference and then just some final notes on the Margules and Van Laar activity models. Um, this has been said previously in a previous video of mine about the Margules model but it also applies to Van Laar activity model. The, both of these models uh, offer considerable flexibility in fitting fairly data for binary systems however there's, there's limited theoretical basis for both of them and so they're only really providing an, an empirical fit to the data and also because of this limited theoretical basis then there's no rational basis for extending them to multi-component systems and also there's no explicit temperature dependence for the parameters within these models. So there are some limitations to them. But overall, that is how we can use the Van Laar activity model to calculate binary VLE data.